When I see the shadow of Mr. Pierce on the floor of this fire, I become very concerned. Mr. Pierce is on the floor. He's not sitting in a chair. He's not at a window on his knees trying to breathe air. He is prone on the floor. That raises the distinct possibility that he was made that way before this fire began. But before Kenda can finish searching Randall Pierce's apartment, he's overcome by a sickening feeling. It's very difficult to be in a structure right after it's burned. The odor is very strong. There are a lot of small particulates that are floating around that you can't even see. And you quickly start choking. It's, it's extremely difficult. Your eyes burn, it's sick to your stomach. The odor is almost overwhelming. It is truly unique. Firemen know the smell very well. The average person does. Mike, I got to get out of here. Yeah, me too. We can go back to this later. All right. It's obvious that we just can't stay in here much longer, so it's time to back out and uh, do some other things. <clears throat> Man, I don't know how you guys deal with that on a regular basis. Joe, after 15 years, I'm still not used to it. Hey, Captain, Sergeant. What's up, Duff? We found something around back. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. We're able to find some footprints, tracks that were leading away from the building in about a half an inch of snow that had fallen earlier that morning. They were strange in that they weren't walking. You didn't see footprints 18 inches apart or a natural gait for an individual. The person that was wearing these shoes was running. Now, if I was a guy who was going to start a fire and that fire ignited, I think I'd be running as well. When people kill, they make mistakes because they are an emotional wreck at the time this is going on. Is this something he forgot? I hope it is something he forgot.